Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can you believe they told me that I would never make it? Now we smiling in their faces, smiling in their faces. And I was gonna ask for your donations if you want to uh, donate to the channel. Um, you know, my Cash App, my PayPal is linked below. My website is currently down now, but if you do want to order something, you are more welcome to. If you want to send me something, I can send you. If you send me your size and address to my personal email, which I'll link down below, I'll send you a hoodie just to give me your size. Uh, the hoodies are 75 the t-shirts are 40 and the shorts I have are $30. So you can donate money and then also it'll go to you getting uh, a free, you know, not free, but you'll get something instead of just giving me money. But if you just want to help, you know, it's the holiday season, uh, I definitely could use some extra cash. So in November 2023, I was again denied from the YouTube Partner Program. In other words, the YouTube monetization program where I can get paid for my videos. Now, here's exactly what happened. But before we get into what happened, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. It's always going to be Trump 2024. And we're always going to continue to spread the truth and not be afraid to be canceled or be stopped by anybody. Now, let's get into the story. What's going on, everybody? Um, man, it's been like over a month for sure. Yeah, it's been a, probably a, about a month now. Um, so if you don't know, I've been gone, and and um, if you haven't been, you know, checking for me and wondering maybe you know, what happened to Tyler Rose TV? Where's Tyler Rose TV? I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm healthy. Thank you to God. Thank you to Christ. Um, however, uh, on November, I believe the 12th it was, I applied again for the YouTube monetization program, which is the partnership which would pay me for my videos, and again I was denied. So this is the second time. So the first time I was denied was in August, and they told me I could reapply in November. So the reason why they decided that my channel was no longer eligible for the platform to get monetized was because I unfortunately, con my content was considered reused content. Now a little backstory, right? Reused content means if I'm taking content and not having any take on it, right? There's a bunch of guidelines they give you. However, what YouTube doesn't do, they don't tell you which videos are considered reused content. So the last time I applied for the YouTube monetization program, which was in November, which was last month, I went through my channel, I deleted videos that had millions of views, anything that maybe the slightest bit of maybe playing a clip too long without my you know take or something. I, I really looked at other channels as well. I studied them. I think that frustrates me a lot is that there is a millions if not thousands of content creators who do the same exact thing I'm doing they take a find they find a clip they play it they get into their take of it they pause it they get back to the clip they get into the take of it there's millions of thousands of whatever creators doing that what's the difference between me and them I don't get it I've seen a guy on this channel on this channel I won't say anything but if you follow him you might see him I, this, this guy does not and it's not to you know crap on nobody but this guy does not have any type of insight really he plays a long long clip that doesn't it's not even his and it's like five six minutes long sometimes and he just says wow something or whatever like he'll say something but he, it'll be like 30 seconds of him talking and the clip's over and this is not to knock anybody but it's just like why am i getting hit for reuse content when i when i personally have my own take on something i don't let the clip play for the remainder of the video 95 percent of the video is me talking and five percent of the video is the clip you know and it's like it's just, it just gets it just gets frustrating, so I'm just going to like you know get that off my chest. I said, okay, they're monetized, they're making thousands of dollars. I'm seeing exactly what they're doing. Let me try to emulate that in my channel and delete other videos that are like that because they're monetized and I'm getting denied. So before that, like the like the like I said before the last time I applied, I made sure to do my homework. Again, I'm denied. When I asked why, when I tried to inquire why, I wasn't able to get any feedback to tell to tell me what exactly I did. After deleting videos that were generating thousands of subscribers, I had three to four reels that were generating anywhere from five to a thousand to five thousand subscribers on a monthly basis at some points, and they were getting a lot of traction traction to my channel, and I was very happy and excited about that. Um, so. Fast forward time where, where I'm at right now, I do feel like what YouTube is doing, and I love this platform and all, but I feel like creators who 
are on this verge of talking about right wing or have some type of conservative views or who are maybe in the middle and just trying to talk about certain things and topics and social issues and political issues in this world and we have a, we have like you know a different opinion than maybe what certain agendas want or certain people want they're starting to hit people with the reused content now i'm not going to say that other youtubers aren't getting hit with it but the only ones I see are the ones that make similar content in the sense of they talk about this right wing conservative, you know, pro Trump type people. And, you know, I really don't understand why I wasn't accepted. So I have till February to apply again. But this this backstory in my personal life, I've been laid off twice in the past year, about 15 to 14 months. So I'm banking and I spent time and time every day banking on this opportunity in November to come. Even if I was to make full five hundred dollars a month, I put days in every day. I was I was uploading five to six videos a day. I put a lot of time in and I really love YouTube. I've been on a I've been a partner with YouTube for a long time. So like I said, I looked at this this time for me to put this effort into the YouTube as it's a way for me to make some extra money. Right now I'm not employed. I haven't been employed since May. Of 2023 so almost seven eight months of me not being employed trying to do whatever I can uber instacart whatever I'm doing it whatever it takes to to make money because my industry is affected by the economy at the moment because I, I I'm in talent acquisition and what I do is I, I hire for companies so I hire for the IT companies and right now IT companies are, are laying off people left and right and then the talent acquisition is getting laid off left and right so this this YouTube thing was something I was really holding on to and it took me a long time to get this video out because there was a lot of frustration and, and anger I would say for sure because you know like I said five to six times a week I'm, I'm sitting in here as you can see this is where I set up my hair where I have my camera here usually and my microphones right behind me right here and I literally I literally lock in here man I find content I give you my take on it and I try you know and I'm not like you know going to say that um, you know I'm gonna give up so that's not for sure but I do want to ask if you guys want to contribute to the channel um, it's, this channel's not over for not we're, we're far from over we get to apply again in February and I'm gonna go through and to probably just gonna delete all my videos that are have anything right wing and then I'm gonna make more right wing content that I that, that you know I wouldn't say right wing content, but just the things that I agree on that sometimes aligns with right right wing. I'm going to make new content about it. So I'm probably going to go through, delete all my stuff. If you have ideas that you want to see me do, I would like for you guys to let me know down below. But I have a couple ideas um, that I want to kind of roll out. And I was wondering, um, you know, if you guys would want to see street interviews because that's something I want to do. Maybe since they can't. T say that's reused content I can go out in the streets ask maybe some political questions I could do that also what I could do is um, I could do just a lot of reaction videos maybe I instead of you know having a clip I can post a clip below of where I found it from y'all can check it out and then I can get into the to the clip and get my take on it which I mean which I always would, would do anyways and um, the third one was I was gonna make some songs I always been making music for a while I can make some music you know, discussing certain things, you know, making some things like that. That way you guys can stream those songs, support those songs, and, like, you know, continue to just make the content. And and for me, the reason why I ended up even switching from making shoe videos to making, you know, videos about social and political things is because I actually wanted to have a purpose in what I was doing. I love shoes, but shoes are only a material thing. But what's going on in this world and with the things they're trying to do that I don't agree on, I feel like it's bigger for me to have a platform to speak on those issues versus me just talking about what kind of shoes are coming out or how much these shoes cost. Yes, shoes are cool and all, but they're not the end of the end all be all of life, right? We have other things that we do in this country as Americans that we need to figure out. That's been an issue, and I feel like it was my place, and I felt real good about doing this because I felt like I had more of a purpose to it. It wasn't just some some something that was like, you know, not 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 so irrelevant, but maybe meaningful. It wasn't it wasn't as meaningful in the past. So, you know, that's kinda that's kind of everything. I mean, I just wanted to say that it's not the end. I would like I said I wanted to ask for your, you know, donations if you do want to help um with the channel. That would be appreciated. And make sure you know you still you still understand that I I love this this platform I love to make the content I do I'm trying uh, to um, you know, like I said I'm gonna figure out everything but at this point in my life I just can't donate this time that I was putting a, to, towards this because I'm not getting any 
compensation for it. And then instead of me spending, you know, a couple hours a day doing this, I've spent a couple hours a day working my part-time job, doing Uber, doing Instacart, just trying to make ends meet. Man, when I started doing this channel and this year in July, I was at 4,000 subscribers. We're now almost 37,000. So we were able to go up and we're, gonna, we're never going to stop. But right now, like I said, where my life is at, I just need to take a break until, you know, things are going to get figured out. So I love you guys. Like I said, man, Trump 2024, and we're going to continue to, to, to embark and, and make a, a way in this life. And we're going to continue to spread truthful information, and uh, and we don't, we're not going to stop. So if you want to help out, that would be great. And then once I get situated, uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, figure out some ways to still make some great uh, you know, content on this platform. And uh, we'll go from there. But like I said, that's all I wanted to say. I'm, I'm, I've been gone. Here's why I've been gone.